Hey everyone, this is uh, Chad Raymond here, a film and television composer in Los Angeles. I saw a video recently of Brian Ralston talking about uh, the take feature in Digital Performer and uh, comping some audio, I think it was some drum tracks that he got, uh, and uh, auditioning those and comping them together into one track. So I thought I'd show you uh, kind of how I use the take feature to make orchestration decisions uh, when uh, programming my MIDI data. I was doing this this morning and as I was doing it I thought um, you know some people might not be aware of this and I use it a lot uh, to help kind of inform my orchestration decisions. So what I have here is I kind of have this um, this phrase here and I have violins 1 and violins 2 in octaves with the melodic material uh, maybe in violas too but I'm certain it's in the, the all the violins and I had to make an orchestration decision. I had to decide whether or not to use the horns uh, to add weight to that melodic material or to counter that with their own line. Um, instead of, you know, my early, early days of using Digital Performer, I would record one. If I don't like it, I would delete it and record another one and, and kind of go back and forth and maybe save different versions in DP. But this allows me to switch back and forth easily between the lines to try to figure out what I want to do. So here is the uh, material with my first take over here with the horns playing the melody or doubling the melody and uh, we'll take a listen to that real quick. So I also want to kind of apologize for uh, the MIDI data. This is all unmixed. This is pretty raw and hasn't been edited. So, uh, but at least it gives you an idea um, of what I'm working with here. So that was the first take. So now what I had uh, have is I recorded a second take here, and what the second take does is this is you'll see over here that the MIDI data changed. So one is where it used to be. That's doubling the melodic material. Two. What I did is instead of doubling that melodic material, I let the violins uh, carry that, and then I used the horns to have uh, kind of a counter, a, a line against that. So this is what that sounds like. Now I can easily switch back between one and two, kind of uh, figure out which uh, line that I want to use. Now if I use that second horn line, I'd probably push it back in the mix, maybe add some winds to brighten up the violin line uh, to let that cut a little more. But um, I, I still trust pencil and paper. I kind of still trust my gut uh, and my training on orchestration decisions. But what Digital Performer's Take feature really allows me to do uh, is to kind of quickly uh, listen to both options back to back and try different orchestration things. I use this a lot for string writing as well. Uh, maybe do a, a couple voicings that are maybe tighter um, and then do some that are more spread out and open uh, just to see what's playing maybe best against dialogue uh, and whether or not I want to fill in the gaps with other instrumentation or whether it sits pretty well by itself. So this is just uh, again a way that I use the TIG feature to help me make orchestration decisions uh, when making mock-ups.